Hi everyone! Sadly, I do not have a new camera, but my sister does, so I decided to borrow it just to see if it was worth splurging on one in the future. Well, apparently it seems that it is worth it, so we'll see. But today I wanted to talk to you about a subset of fat phobia that I find particularly fascinating. And I don't mean that literally, of course. It's that thing where anytime a fat person displays any kind of self-confidence, you have people coming in droves to shut them down and to try to shut them up because apparently you cannot be fat and be happy with your body. Now, okay, I'm gonna show you something, okay? I am 34. And this is me. Woohoo! You know, okay, this is me. I have a tummy and I have a butt too. And guess what? I'm just fine. I'm just fine and it has taken me a while to get to this point but I'm happy with myself and I am strong enough that I can you know I can withstand storms and and people trying to get me as down as they possibly can because I decided long ago that screw this I'm going to be me and that's about it. And you know, I remember something, I think it was last year, maybe two years ago, I can't remember exactly. There was this lovely black lady in America and she posted pictures of herself in her prom dress. She looked amazing, she was beautiful. Everything was on point. So I said that on Twitter and then someone tweeted me back saying that I should stop being a hypocrite and it's not nice to lie. I was like, what? I'm just paying a compliment to someone. This is not, this shouldn't be that much of an issue. And you know what? I think I've come to realize why people are doing this. It's because they put so much pressure on themselves to reach beauty standards or whatever you want to call it, that when someone like me comes up with you know, my tummy, my huge thighs, and my happiness about the whole thing, it's like I am a threat to the pressure and all the effort those people are making to get better or something like that. Okay, now, the worst bit in all of this is that most of the time, we will also be accused of promoting obesity. Now, if you are the kind of person who believes that, then actually you should act, I think you should be checked by your therapist because you have issues. I am not promoting obesity, okay? I am fat, I am obese, and yes, I do obey the laws of gravity just like everyone else. However, what I am trying to promote is respect. That's it. That's all I want. Basic respect. Just because I'm fat does not mean that your efforts for yourself don't mean anything. And if I can show you that there is no need to put so much pressure on yourself, then why the hell not? You know what? Usually, People like me, you know the ones who get comfortable with our bodies, we don't want to lose weight just so that people can tell us we are pretty. If you cannot handle me right now, I don't see why I should go through the tr trouble. I mean, I'm fine that way, why should I bother? I'm not promoting anything other than respect and love for one another, so if I can live while being fat, then why not? Because I am scared, you know what, actually, wait a minute, I am scared of losing any weight because of all the people who have told me over the years, you would be so pretty if you weren't so fat. Well, guess what? I don't want to lose weight so that you can now tell me I'm pretty because you know what? I 
feel pretty now. I love my face. I love my eyes. I have wonderful eyes. I have freckles. I love my freckles. I even have freckles on the lips. And I have boobs, which helps a lot. But I'm fine that way. And you should accept that there are fat people around you. And if you don't want to look at us, don't look. If you don't want to date a fat person, don't. But if you do date a fat person, don't try to make the person lose weight just because you want to. And also, please, stop telling us that we are promoting obesity because this is so far from the truth, it's not even funny. As I said, we are only trying to promote respect for one another. And that's it. Now, well, I suppose I've rambled long enough. I don't know when I'll be able to put out a new video, but I'll try to steal my sister's camera a few more times. Bye.